That's right, Shannon. The sign right here on the door says Nancy's is going to be closed until further notice with an apology. It is all locked up, and this follows a drug bust on Friday. Officials say the downfall only took a few days. The sign outside the original Nancy Seafood and Oriental Market says fresh seafood and more. According to law enforcement, the more was four pounds of marijuana, 100 THC vape pens, crystal meth and cash, all served up from the inside. Not something that we'd expect, a little surprising for sure. Edwin Smith owns Crossroads Pawn and Sales right across the street from Nancy's. He says he didn't know about the drugs. The food, he says, was really popular. These folks, you know, uh, as far as we were concerned, they're good business people. The investigation into what was going on behind the counter started in Bullitt County, where law enforcement thought the drugs were coming in from Chatham County, and it ended right here. In some cases, people go to the very back of the restaurant, uh, so the general public was not made aware. The investigation was over in a few days. The owner and three family members were arrested Friday, taking down a major part in a cross-county drug ring. There was a lot of people who were utilizing that solely to obtain their narcotics, and therefore it was a distribution hub. And Monday, another bust at the owner's home on Falligan Avenue turned up cocaine, crystal meth, marijuana, weapons, and $8,000 cash. It's all a shock to Smith, who says there was a lot of improvement on the east side in the last few years. Being a good, safe neighborhood and, and business district. Now we asked investigators how it actually happened inside. What were the steps that it went through? And they said that investigation is still ongoing, so they couldn't comment. But they did say there's no fear of cross contamination between the drugs and the food that was sold to customers. Live in Savannah, I'm Kyle Jones, WJCL 22 News.